I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, May the 26th, brought to you in part by Sweet Pro. The right ingredients in the right block. Sweet Pro Premium Supplements provide a better way to maximize your cow herd's performance through superior nutrition. Visit SweetPro.com. Corn tumbles on Tuesday. We've been waiting for this, and and uh, and it's and it's uh, fundamental for a change, which uh, always makes me more comfortable. And and uh, and it's a uh, in a big response to uh, Monday's corn uh, pro, you know progress report there, and showed that corn planting is now at ninety percent. I was at ninety seven percent done. That's where they grow the corn, guys, in Iowa. And you hear guys say they need a rain, yes, but they've had some spotty rains around there. Told you up there, I was up there in the edge of the corn belt. Things look pretty darn good to me. And now they're starting to show that uh, we've made a lot of laps there. You know, we, we weren't a, able to get as much rain as we wanted to during planting time, but we, had, uh, we didn't have any interruptions during planting. So now 90% complete. That's 10% ahead of the five-year average. What's uh, that? That's pretty significant. Your emergence uh, corn that's popped up through the ground is also up 10% uh, from your five-year average. Now it's 64%. So going pretty good on there, guys. And uh, I kind of got on my soapbox on the last visit. Uh, always gets people kind of fired up. Some of you like it, some of you don't like it so much, but you keep watching the videos. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. But uh, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of guys that uh, that like the grid deal. Well, you know, uh, you're surviving with the grid, which you know I guess that's great to say. But uh, meanwhile, your packers are having record-breaking profits and gouging our consumers which the consumers, they get enough of that, and they get enough, enough's enough. Once they decide that uh, beef is, is above their budget, they're going to back off, and they're not going to go back and check every week. They're just going to start, uh, you know, putting themselves in the mode of not eating beef as much. And whenever your, your packers are taking complete uh, advantage of the demand and the taste that our consumers have for this beef and then not sharing any of the profits with your cattle people sopping up all that gravy in between uh, you know it's not a good thing uh, for certainly right now but it's not a good thing going into the future either and your packers are actually saying that they're they're driving those box beef cutout value levels higher and higher which those are set prices by them they aren't negotiated prices they're driving those prices higher uh, to hurt demand, uh, so that so that they uh, you know won't have as much trouble filling orders. You know, whenever you got uh, people that are getting more money thrown at them by Biden, and they're getting to show up at the plant and do their job. But uh, you know, I, you know, you guys saying you like the the grid deal and you've been surviving. Well, I, I'm just trying to get you guys to imagine what we're talking about here with this mandated by law minimum negotiated cash trade. Now we're, we're pushing this issue. We've got a couple of bills up there. We may be working on a hybrid deal to get to get them the best of them both together and then pushing them through. But what I'm trying to get you guys to imagine is a dream world where instead of like we saw here on Monday and Tuesday where your, your guys are talking back and forth, your, your feedlots are saying, well, this packer will only take a couple hundred head uh, negotiated cash. This guy won't buy any negotiated cash, uh, but they will allow us to send as many grid cattle as, as we want to. And, you know, what, what's the deal there? They can't take any negotiated cash cattle, but they can take the grid cattle. And in fact, you know, that you may get along better with the grid deal, but they're just covering all their needs. They don't want you guys to get to thinking that you can hold out for a cash price because they want to get 100% control of, of all their needs without having to negotiate anything. They just dictate to you what, you're, what they're going to give you for their cattle. And I don't care if there is a big premium in there. You're still so far back of what they could pay for the cattle, which is over $2 a pound live weight now that it's getting ridiculous. I'm trying to get you guys to imagine a world where, where you know, you've got your packers, which we know they collude and they talk back and forth, but maybe your, your country packer buyers are, are saying, well, ABC Feedlot said uh, that, that they wouldn't even consider the cash bid that I gave them. 
And XYZ told me to go F off if I, if I couldn't come up with any more money than that. Then you call into the plant, what do I do? Do I, do I dry lot them for two or three weeks and, and not ex take their calls like we used to? And then your, your uh, head of procurement says, no, guys, you know, they're one of the few guys we have out there that we can buy negotiated off of. Go back to that feedlot with your hat in your hand and see if you can get some cattle bought. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, I think I think we can imagine a day where it may not be that blatant, but it's going to be something like that. I tell you what, you drop a bomb on some of these uh, these packing plants, these beef packers, and tell them that they've got to go out there and negotiate cash, cattle, and uh, and come up with a certain percentage of their week's buy that way, and then you're going to have auditors come in there and check that, or you might get a ten thousand dollar fine per incident starting to get pretty interesting there also got you guys fired up on the last visit over that cares act deal it's a real deal guys it's a real deal they're saying that uh, reproductive management of your livestock is uh you know a sexual molestation you know and then several people have commented and saying you know what about your pets you know what about old Bob Barker when he used to say at the end of The Price is Right, be sure and spay and neuter your pets? Is that sexual molestation of your, of your, of your pets? Uh, of course, of course these, uh, these hippies and nuts and dope heads and PETA people that are pushing all this through, they, they don't want to include your pets in there because they realize that, that animals are animals and you have to manage their reproductive uh, systems or, or you know, you're just going to be... Uh, you know, shop full of uh, baby kittens and puppies everywhere, like we are rats and mice. But uh, how about how about managing some of this uh, reproduction on your uh, your freak humans? You know, maybe maybe if we're going to outlaw you know your your uh, reproductive management on cattle, we won't allow people to, to go in there and, and uh, uh, your women to have their tubes tied for your men to get snipped and things like that you know, having sex change operations and things. Maybe this is an angle to come in here and, and attack this thing, guys. Uh, you guys that, that are, are preparing to, to, to fight this off. We got, we got to fight fire with fire. And, and I don't understand uh, why we can't uh, look at it from that route. And, and maybe we should. Let's talk about your board on Tuesday. June live cattle down two cents is all. 116.72. Now that's a ways back from what your cash market is, so your hedged feeders are liking it pretty well, and that's why they didn't put up much of a fight when they got offered the 120 uh, on Tuesday, is, is they were getting a pretty good basis there. August unchanged at 120.10. Now that's a pretty steady futures market, isn't it? Your spot down two cents, and, and your next uh, most heavily traded out is August, and it was unchanged. I guess they don't know which way they want to take this thing. I think we should take it up. 120.10 on your August. Go on your back months and they were down just 15 cents to up 62. How about feeder cattle? May feeder cattle up 35 cents at 136.62. You know, it's, it's trying to jostle in there and, and get right in there and converge with what your index levels are. Your real-time index on, uh, on Tuesday afternoon sitting at 136.37. And they took uh, May spot feeder cattle at 136.62, getting pretty tight. Uh, how about August, which is all important. We want, uh, we want to continue to, to support August because we've got so many cattle in the country that are priced off of that. And so many of those cattle that will be priced off of that are so many producers only check that they get for the whole year. So we want that to get up there. August feeder cattle contracts up 255. Why was it that way? Because corn dumped. But 156.67, that's starting to look pretty good. It's closing back in on there. What did we top out around 162 at one point when I urged you guys to, uh, to get hedged up, and I hope you guys did, but now it's starting to come back a little more, and if this corn continued to go down, uh, no telling where we could get feeder cattle. You go on your back months, feeder cattle contracts up 177 to up 255. That's very good. How about corn? Old crop, July, down 37 cents. All you guys have been sitting on there with a shit-eating grin, uh, sitting on some on-farm storage there and refusing to sell it because you don't want to pay taxes. Well, sit on it a little bit while longer and then maybe you won't have to pay quite so much taxes. 
uh, July corn 620 and a quarter new crop December down 24 and a half at 515 and three quarters I'll tell you what that's still pretty high in the old whole gist of things but not nearly as high as what we saw just a couple three weeks ago how about your beans uh, not quite as blatant there, but uh, July beans old crop down 11 cents at 15, 11 and three quarters. New crop November down 15 at 13.47 and a quarter. Fat cattle market was established on Tuesday. We, we've seen uh, maybe not the bulk of the trade, but we took what it, we, we've gotten what it takes to get the the market established unless something falls completely out of bed. But Iowa had confirmed sales of 3,500 on Tuesday from 118 to 120. Dress sales from 188 to 192. Basically steady, still with charity bids out there. Nebraska, 10,000 head for Tuesday early in the week. Didn't need any cattle. They, they, they don't need them. Not all fooled up till middle of the summer. Yet bought 10,000 head in Nebraska at 120. One price, 120. So a lot of that was steady, but some of it would be a little bit stronger. Dress sales from 188 to 192, but largely from 191 to 192. Kansas, they didn't need any cattle in Kansas either, but they bought 6,000 of them on Tuesday, uh, pretty early in the week for that, from 119 to mostly 120. That's stronger. And 191 dressed. Texas, 3,700 head, all at 120. That's a buck higher. Uh, CBP did have the, the, the Texas cash pool and, uh, and, and, and uh, it usually doesn't run right into uh, trade but it did on Tuesday but we didn't used to trade cattle on Tuesday when, when your packers so called needed cattle we waited till Thursday and sometimes Friday because your, your feedlots were holding out but now that they're jumping all over themselves with a three or four dollar basis there to sell cattle and your packers are telling you that they don't need them we're trading on mondays and tuesdays but texas cash pool the best bid they got was 189 picked up or fob colorado didn't have any confirmed sales or none that they could show box beef cut out values higher again almost 330 almost three dollars and thirty cents a pound for box beef cutout values, unbelievable. 329.92 on Tuesday afternoon. That's up 209. Selects 304.26, up 87 cents. Slaughter's running at a pretty good clip. 237,000 through Tuesday. 2,000 more than last week. 124,000 more than the same week a year ago. No wonder we can't compare stuff to a year ago, like like your cattle on feed report. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction. On Tuesday afternoon, I had some things I wanted to do, so it didn't wait quite so late to do this report, but 136.37 based on an 800-pound steer. That was up 64 cents. Look at some of your big sales on Tuesday. Ozarks Regional Stockyard, West Plains, Missouri, 4,250 head of feeder cattle, and they have big sales there. I mean, South Central Missouri, Throw a rock to Arkansas. How about steer calves? Two to four dollars higher in West Plains. Heifer calves kind of uneven, two bucks lower to two bucks higher, but hanging right in there. Yearling feeders, two to three dollars higher. Steve Anderson had another 500 head on that in house video, and you talk about making that deal work, guys. I, I tell you what, it's fairly effortless for him. He goes out find some cattle that they don't necessarily want to bring through the ring but they would like to not just appraise but they want to sell and uh, and he, he takes some cell phone video sends it to DV auction we post it up there and when he gets ready to sell those just shuts, shuts the sale down for a second clicks on that link those uh, sales come up they show them in the in the sale barn show them all over the internet got the internet bidding open and, and it's a beautiful thing but through the ring, they had a hell of a good sale on feeder cattle too. Right there in West Plains, they sold 60 head, 861 pound steers on that. And the top side of the eights, guys, 136 smooth. How about Winter Live, Lahana, Colorado? Our good friend John Campbell over there sold 51 head, 553 pound steers, $181. Big time quote there. Uh, another big quote on some feeding steers. Lolly Brothers Livestock Market in Macon, Missouri, 
longtime DV auction customer there. And they actually turned their system on on feeder cattle day and not just exotic day or horse day, but so I could get some quotes out of there. 62 head, 845 pound steers in Macon, Missouri bring 140, 60. But the best quote that I saw anywhere on Tuesday in your Zach Tran top quote for the day come out of Kimball Livestock Exchange, Kimball, South Dakota, 123 head, 995, same as a thousand pounders, bring $127. That's your feeder flash for Wednesday.